Welcome back. Mm. GoPro, stop recording. Welcome back to the Planet V. Today, we're gonna visit the Rundale Palace, which is one of the two Baroque palaces built for the Duke of Courland. It's located in Rundale. <laughs> it's located in Pils Rundale in the Zemgali region of Latvia. If you like palaces, castles, beautiful gardens, stay tuned because we're gonna tour this beautiful area. was built in two periods from 1736 until 1740 and from 1764 until 1768. It was built as a luxurious residence for the Duke of Courland. It was designed by Italian Baroque genius Bartolomeo Rastrelli. Around 40 of its 138 rooms are open to visitors as well as the magnificent formal gardens inspired by the ones in Versailles. The castle is divided into two halves, the east wing for formal locations, while the west wing for private royal residence. <laughs> wow, there's some music for you. We have music on our arrival. were heated by 80 porcelain stoves which only six authentic stoves remain which you'll see in this video. The palace was badly damaged in the previous wars. What you see now is the result of a long restoration from 1972 and officially finished in 2015. the same room in Versailles. The gold hall is also the Duke's throne room. The golden stucco decorations were made by Johann Michael Graff. The grand gallery served as a banqueting hall where tables were laid within the court's reception hours. It took 14 years to restore the paintings on the ceiling. The White Hall, initially designed as a chapel, was later transformed into a ballroom. The stucco decorations depict pastoral scenes, four seasons, and four elements of the world. The Blue Room exhibits paintings by Flemish and Dutch masters. If you're wondering what this is for, this is for heating. The library houses the only remaining oakwood bookcase from its original furnishings. The conservation of the paintings lasted five years, while restoration work in this room was completed in 2014, which also marked the end of the restoration of Rundale Palace. The Rose Room is devoted to Flora, the goddess of spring and flowers, who is depicted in the ceiling painting. The parquet of the Rose Room dates back to 1739. The Duke's bedroom, which has the state bed, is located in the center of the building. The theme of the ceiling painting is a bringing of amour, 
The parquet floor from 1739 has been restored according to Rastrelli's design. The ceiling in the reception room displays the myth of Venus and her beloved Adonis. The black lacquer commode made by a famous French court cabinet maker is the most valuable piece of furniture in the museum's collection. The marble hall is also known as the Duke's Dining Room. The ceiling cove is decorated with blue ornaments of flowers. The Duke's dressing room is located in the very center of the building on the other side of the bedroom. The room is furnished with a coiffeuse and a commode chair which illustrate the function of the room. The Duchess Boudoir features a niche in the shape of a shell. The walls of the boudoir are covered by ornate broche silk wall coverings with lace patterns and flower bouquets. The Duchess toilet room was remodeled based on old photographs. The room shows a washing bowl and a bidet. All typical elements of Baroque garden in Rundale Palace Park have been restored. That includes ornamental parterre, bosquet surrounded by hedges, the green theater, the arbor passages or pergolas, and pavilions. The Green Theatre is one of the only few of this type which survived or have been reconstructed in Europe with its good acoustics. It is created in the form of an amphitheatre according to Rastrelli's design with grass-covered steps which can accommodate more or less 600 viewers. Also a labyrinth here. The 
whose garden inside the park covers almost one hectare piece of land that spreads on both sides of the parterre. The garden reflects the history of cultivating roses in Europe from the early 18th century till today. Thank you for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you visit Latvia, you must visit Rundale Palace. See you soon!